In my opinion, I think aesthetics plays a vital role in Linux adoption, especially adoption on the desktop, because those of us that use desktop Linux, it's all about making our desktops look attractive, gorgeous, sexy, right? It's that experience. That's why we keep coming back to desktop Linux. And I think one of the most important factors in creating this attractive desktop is the icon sets. Today I wanted to cover eight of my favorite icon sets available on Linux. First up is the ever popular Papyrus icon set, which is a free and open source icon set, SVG, so Scalable Vector Graphics, and it's available in many Linux distributions repositories. Of course, I'm using Arco Linux, an Arch-based distribution. All of the icon sets that I talk about today are actually available in the AUR, the Arch user repository. Papyrus comes in a number of different variants. You've got a dark Papyrus, you've got a light Papyrus, depending on whether you're using a light or dark GTK theme. Uh, you've also got ePapyrus for those of you that are on elementary. Papyrus is also available on the Snap Store as well as this list of distributions here to see Papyrus in action. This is what Papyrus looks like here in PC Man FM, which is the file manager I'm currently using. This is Papyrus Dark and this is just the default blue variant for the folder colors, although there are uh, various uh, coloring variants for Papyrus if you prefer a different folder color than the default Fault blue. The reason Papyrus has become such a popular icon set is because it's a very large collection of icons and they're very consistent and they also have some really nice um, coloring as far as they're pretty bold colors, right? The colors stand out, the blue, the greens. If I go into maybe .config, let's take a look at some other different kind of files. Let's see how some Python files look. So let's go into the Qtile folder. You can see, you know, very distinctive icons here. Got a very distinctive trash icon as well here in the folder bookmarks here. Overall, if you're new to Linux and you're unsure about icon sets, you know, which ones are, are large and extensive and pretty much got you covered for all file types, Papyrus is a a good one to default to. Next is the very popular candy icons. Now candy is interesting because you've probably seen candy because it's a uh, icon set that is the default icon set for Garuda Linux. For those of you that have used uh, Garuda and their KDE version, I believe also Zero Linux was also using the candy icons for a time as well. These are a very distinctive icon set. If I go back to my file manager, here are what the candy icons look like in action in thumbnail mode here inside PC Man FM and I've got the these icons set to a pretty large size. That way you guys can see them clearly. The candy icon set has good coverage. It's got a lot of different icons for a lot of different file types. If I go into dot config and let's see if uh, they've got anything for Lua files. So let's go into my awesome window manager folder. No Lua files are just some plain file icons you know, like the default file icon. But look at that markdown icon. I love that. Right, The M with the down arrow. Yeah. So, you know, if you're one of these people that want a, a, just a explosion of color on your desktop or in your file managers with these icon types, definitely check out the candy icon set. Another favorite of mine is the Cora icon set. Now Cora is a very saturated blue icon set, very rectangular in shape, but it is very consistent as far as it's a very consistent theme. You can see I've got some unique icons for your browser, such as Firefox and Brave. And the uh, file type icons, for example, you've got your tar icon, your deb icon, your torrent icon, app image icons, right? These are very unique and they're skinnier than the other icons. So yeah, Cora is, you know, a quite unique icon set. And it's one of my favorites here in recent months. I, I've actually used Cora quite a bit on my system because I do like blue icons. Now, for some of you, it may be a little too saturated because these blue icons, I mean, they're almost blinding blue, right? These are uh, very highly saturated icons. But one thing you can't say, you can't say that, you know, it's a boring icon set, right? Because these things really Really do stand out. Let me go into my xmonad directory and let's see how some of these files look. And it's just a standard file type icon. You can see there is the shell icon. And then they do have a org mode icon. So you see the uh, unicorn that is the mascot for org mode, right? So they've even got a, a, a dedicated org mode icon in the set. So that is a very nice touch as well. Next up is Koger. Now Koger is actually the icon theme that I have been using here lately just because for me I kind of like it in that it's not too flashy but at the same time it's got some 
character, right? It's, it's got some color variants and, you know, they do stand out. You've got some circular icons. You also got some squarish icons. It's a mixture, right? It's, it's not as monotonous as some icon sets. And let me open my file manager. And this is Koger in the file manager. By default, it defaults to a blue icon set, which again, I like blue icons. And for me, this blue is not as saturated, right? It's, it's kind of faded in color a little bit. And that's a little easier on my eyes, especially when I'm using it with a dark GTK theme. You can also see they're very consistent with the file type icons. You can see they're all pretty much white icons, so very light colored icons. If I go into dot config, let's check out uh, Qtile again. Let's see how the Python icons look. Well, they just have pi written on a plain file icon. So, you know, not nothing too interesting there. Let's check the uh, Lua files. Now, the Lua files look quite a bit more interesting. So do the markdown files. Overall, Koger, it's been the one I've been using lately and I've been satisfied with it. Next up is an icon set I do want to mention. It's not one that I've used a lot in my past, but I do know it's a popular icon set and I know a lot of you guys on Linux really try to recreate the Mac OS look and feel. So let's talk about White Sur. So White Sur, as you can imagine, is a um, very heavily inspired Mac OS like icon set. Here is a preview of it. You can see they're essentially very consistent as far as the rounded squares, uh, as far as the shapes. To see this icon set in action, let me open my file manager, and this is White Sur as far as your default folder icons and file type icons. If I go into dot config, let's check out once again some Python icons. Yeah, just very kind of generic Python icons. Really nothing to see there. How do they do with Haskell files? Uh, the Haskell files. I quite like that, the Haskell logo. Of course, I think really the claim to fame with White Sur is for those of you trying to create the uh, Mac OS look and feel with, you know, a top panel and a bottom dock and having the, these big Mac OS like icons and a dock at the bottom. Of course, I don't use docks. I'm a tiling window manager user, but I did want to mention White Sur for those of you that do prefer the Mac OS workflow and paradigm. And because I can't leave out those of you that really love the Windows aesthetic and the look and feel of, say, Windows 10, I do have to mention the Wii 10X icon set. So this is a Windows-inspired icon set. And you can see it's very Windows-like, right? Anybody that's used Windows 10, Windows 11, you can tell that this is very heavily inspired by the Windows icon set. And if I go to my file manager here, you can see uh, by default there are some color variants, but you can see this is another one that's very saturated, very bright. You can see the uh, yellow icons here for the folder icons are extremely bright, almost blinding. It's like hot as the sun. Some of the more interesting icons, I do love the uh, like desktop and videos, pictures, you know, with the folder, but then they have a like almost like a second icon superimposed over the folder icon that's very unique. I also love the trash icon. It's a little small here in the uh, file manager bookmarks, but it's a very squarish uh, like trash can that's canned off to an angle. And let's see how they do with some more unique file types. So once again, uh, just because Python should be supported, let's see how their Python icons look. Yeah, just the, uh, the plain file icon with the Python logo superimposed over it. How do they do with Haskell? It's basically the same, just a plain vanilla document icon with the Haskell logo superimposed over it. The final icon set I have to mention is the Yaru icon set. So Ubuntu has the Yaru icon set that it created for, of course, Ubuntu. But of course, you can install the icon set on any Linux distribution, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I think it is maybe the most attractive icon set available out there for desktop Linux. Uh, just overall, the theming on desktop Ubuntu has always been really good. Even though I'm not an Ubuntu user these days on the desktop, I love Ubuntu on the server. But, you know, I do appreciate the fact that what Ubuntu has done for desktop Linux, I love their font family. The Ubuntu fonts are absolutely fantastic, very easy on the eyes, especially Ubuntu Mono is great. 
if you work in a text editor or a terminal all day long. And this rather new icon set, the Yaru icon set, which they created, I think, just a couple of years ago for, I think it came out around the last Ubuntu LTS. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's very unique. It really stands out. Of course, by default, it is orange and purple in color, right? As far as the color variants, let me go ahead and open my file manager here. But the Yaru theme does have a number of color variants out there. If you don't like the purple and orange, there are variants for blue icons and uh, green icons and red icons, whatever color you need. Let me go into dot config and check out some of the uh, programming language specific files, the um, Python files. Look, you know, like they pretty much always do in every icon set. It's just a plain file. With, uh, you know, a lot of these don't really uh, change much. It's mainly, you know, the, uh, the important things are the folder icons and things like the trash can, mounted file systems and things like that. And of course, oh, we didn't talk about, you know, the smaller icons and things like the file manager, like your arrow buttons and things like that. But overall, I think the Yaru theme is as one of the best ones out there. So which one do I tend to go with? Well, as I mentioned earlier, when we were going through the list here lately, uh, the one I've really been enjoying was the uh, Koger theme, Koger Dark, since I'm using a dark theme. This is what I've been using lately. And I think it's going to be the one I stick with for the foreseeable future. What do you guys think? How did you like uh, this group? of seven icon sets that I showcased today on video. Also, do you have some other suggestions for great icon sets available for Linux? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Gabe, James, Matt, Paul, Steve, Wes, Arcotic, Armor Dragon, Commander Angry, Darloff, George, Lee, Matthew, Methos, Nate, Erion, Paul, Peace Arch and Fedora, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Soul Astri, TN, Ren, Tools, Devler, War Gento, and Ubuntu, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This quick look at seven popular icon sets available for Linux would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are all my supporters over on Patreon. I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to see more videos about Linux and free and open source software, including free and open source icon sets, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.